All right. Uh, what is the music of the spheres? Hmm. Um, I'm not sure that there is music of the spheres, but the Greeks talk about it. Plato talks about it. And, you know, Allah, you know, بِكُلِّ uh, شَيْءٍ alim. He knows everything in the heavens, everything in the earth. All the things in the heavens are good. You know, the heavens are beyond evil. Evil cannot reach them. They are protected. And of course we see a certain physical heaven in telescopes. But that's not all that's there in any way. That's a mulki, physical heaven, a first heaven. There's also the Malakuti heaven. There's also other realities there. And there are doors that open. Okay? But that is a good world. That is a special world. That is an angelic world also. And that is a world in which there is great knowledge manifested. There's also the tablets of light that tell about destiny, and they are in one of the heavens that you and I do not see. Okay, so many ancient people believed that the spheres of the heavens have a music that is extremely beautiful to the being and is perfect harmony. And it also expresses the harmony of the sun and the moon and the stars and the zodiacal signs, which are amazing. These are amazing realities, okay? And that this is beauty upon beauty. And so therefore, like instead of Big Bang, I would talk about the music of the spheres. The first perfect note of the music of the spheres. You know, the light of the Prophet Muhammad so the first thing created, the most perfect of all things created. And we have the hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah, you know, um, where Jabir asked the Prophet, what is the first thing that God created? And Jabir says, Nuru nabiyika ya Jabir. And this is a sahih hadith. It has a sahih transmission in um, the musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba or the musannaf of Abdul Razak in the manuscript, not actually in the book in the printed book. So it's an amazing hadith. But it's again about haqiqah. It's about ultimate reality. It's not about salvation. But for Big Bang theory, it is useful. Because the first thing that God creates is the light. And it is the most beautiful of all things. And of that he creates everything else. And that, we could talk about the metaphor of the music of the spheres. The first perfect note that contains the whole symphony of the music of the spheres forever. And Allah knows best. I mean, but that's a better metaphor than Big Bang. It was not confusion. It was not chaos. So the music of the spheres is a metaphor. Whether there's actually music there or not, I don't know. I don't know. 